everybody. My dad and I are gonna build this table, which my son is gonna go super creative and build some memories. Then we're gonna cover it with some polyurethane to seal it. And we have this as a result. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? Welcome to Project Wood. Oh my God, see what I did there? I just, oh. Sometimes my genius is, it's almost frightening. Don't you worry, this is still Project Whoop and you guys are whoopsies. You might remember my dad from the race sim chair that I built a while ago. Don't worry, his butt's gonna be in this video too. We don't have a workbench, so two stands, some two by four and a piece of plywood and call it a mobile workbench. In terms of plans, there wasn't really much to it. I designed this kind of quickly on Fusion 360 and I didn't even know how to make it white. I knew I wanted it white, but I wanted a top. I wanted to have a little bit of space underneath and then at the bottom for the heavier stuff. Started off by going to my local Home Depot, got some two by four plywood paint. I bought some other stuff that I didn't record, but to give you an idea on the first day, we spent $37 on the paint, then $70 on the plywood, five bucks on the two by four. Probably could have built it just all of it out of two by fours and been way cheaper 850 for the wood glue and then about 23 bucks in wood screws but they're 100 pack and we're going to use them on future projects as well also these were bought by my dad i wasn't shopping with him so he got these funny moment to me but while we were shopping we forgot the tape measure in the car and i was like oh i'll go in the car and go grab it and my dad's like dude come on and he just grabbed one off the shelf and we just used it why he's so clever the first thing we did is we cut the legs for the table out of the two by fours and it created it's a lot of dust so in the next scene i <laughs> i put a cover on my motorcycle cut the two by four on one side then cut it on the other side and we have a very nice square leg repeat the process for the rest of them until you get all your legs if there's any imperfections or anything just put a little bit of wood filler and then you gotta sand them down and keep sanding all of them just make sure to always inhale in big breaths as you do this the square leg was a little meh so we used the router with I, I want to say it's a chamfer bit. I'm, I could be wrong. I'm not very familiar with my router terminology, but we gave it this smooth looking edge on all the sides of the legs. And we did that for all of them. Maybe I need to invest in some different router bits, but uh, you know, it's definitely looking better than the 90 degree straight edge. But don't worry, you have to sand them again. So they're nice and smooth. After all that, it came out pretty okay. I like it. Oh, hey, you finally see me working. And when I say working, I'm basically just an extension of the circle and saw table but don't worry because i managed to screw that up too because apparently i let the wood go at a weird angle and it wasn't flat so it ripped the plywood and now that one is no good oh but don't you worry because i learned my lesson and now i'm a way better table extension holder notice here how my new position is sitting directly in front of the exhaust for mm -hmm. yeah i'm sure that's by chance we ended up with three identical pieces of plywood that's going to be the top middle and bottom the legs were then cut to length the original design was to have them all the way at the edge but eh, we didn't really like that. Originally, we didn't want to do a chamfer edge around the table. So he's just taking out the hard edges here. Oh yeah, then he decided we are going to chamfer all of these edges. <laughs> I guess that's, uh, yeah, he decided that. Go back to cutting some more legs. Decided to put all this together a little bit to see how it looks. And our workbench that, you know, we're just using to cut stuff. That's not flat at all. So that's, it's got a big bow on it. Moved it all. All over to the table saw because it's actually flat and uh this is how it looks see man there's nothing holding it right now just gravity and we're just kind of getting an idea how it might look some of the edges are still rough but you know we gotta sand them and paint them but or you know one evening of work eh, not bad we're gonna use wood dowels we're gonna start making some holes in the legs on all sides after that we're gonna use these hole punchers hole locators i don't know exactly what they're called but <clears throat> cut we're gonna put these on all the holes then we're gonna turn it around put it on the plywood this is you know not the actual plywood but it's gonna leave that mark and then we can drill the other side for the dowel while editing the video i did look it up they are called the dowel pin centers and um 
Yeah, that's the mark it leaves and you can easily drill out your other half of the dowel hole. Just because the plywood is not as thick, uh, it's gonna go about 35% in the plywood of the dowel and then the other 65% is gonna go into the leg. Next is gonna be to put some wood glue on both holes and then put the dowel and here is an example of it right there. My dad wanted to make sure that it's not gonna move so so he's given it some nails to the second and bottom layer of the table. And basically it's going to be a lot of repeating of just the glue and positioning. For the bottom of the table, he just gave it some nails to make sure it stays in place. Once everything is glued in and nailed in, we try to make sure that the legs align as well as possible visually. Put a heavy bucket of poly on top of it and let it stay overnight. My dad sanded everything down with 150 grit. Cause you know, he, he had no idea that I was recording this video this whole time and trying to get footage for it, but that's fine. You can just imagine him sending it. Uh, it. It's okay though, cause he did wait for me to get the camera while we painted. So this is the first coat of paint. Uh, my brother-in-law has a paint sprayer apparently. So it was way easier to do it with this than we did the top. Even I had a go with this and painted pretty much the whole bottom side of the table. And don't worry, the uh, sprayer just carried the paint all over everything in the garage. So everything's got a little bit of a <laughs> spray of paint uh we let everything dry and it's come out okay there's some other stuff here because i'm also building some shelves from my gaming room but yeah it dried out pretty well and uh got the 220 grit got to work sanded it down you know just smoothly and then gave it another coat of paint then came probably one of the most fun parts of this build which is to let my son play on top of it with the water-based paints and let him go creative and have some memories that hopefully he's gonna enjoy for a long time or at least for as long as this table is gonna be around he did get bored a couple of times and we had to help him out but hey you know what he he had his hands in this i told my wife to do like a motorcycle and uh, this is this, this is not a motorcycle let it dry for a couple hours and we put two coats of polyurethane and the table's done i did put these little feet things at the bottom so it doesn't scratch my floors but yeah no i'm very happy with the result of this table and this is the final result thank you so much to my dad for helping me build this thank you so much for everybody for watching bless y'all's beautiful faces and i'll see you guys later